I want to show you how to draw Mario from the Super Mario Brothers game. If you'd like to do it, give it a go and post your pictures in the comments. I'd love to see them. Miss you all. Keep safe. Mwah. Hi guys. So to begin with, you'll need a big felt tip pen, a black one, a small pen if you have one, and any sort of pencil you can find in your house. Mine's a mechanical pencil, but any pencil will do, and a rubber. So, let's get started. So get your pencil, first of all, we're gonna draw a really big circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just drawing mine as big as I can, just to fill the centre of the page. Then, we're going to draw a little circle, more of an oval shape in the middle. Once again, doesn't need to be neat at all. So, next we start with the face. So we start with the side of the face, make sure you do it inside the big circle to help you. Then we're going to make some chubby cheeks and round it around to make the chin. And then back again up to that line. Now as you can see, mine is not perfect. That's absolutely fine. And if you want to correct it, you can, just use your rubber. You can always be more sketchy rather than doing a big straight line. So use a, this little technique where you whip the pencil rather than dragging it across the page. So it makes it much easier. And there you go. Next, neaten up the line in the middle, the big circle, which is actually Mario's nose. We've done the face, we've done the nose, now we need to do the moustache. Start with two little lines either side of the nose. And then make whatever shape you want to create the moustache, making sure it ends up in the middle of the bottom of the nose. And do the exact same the other side. Then for the mouth, all you do is a little line and a tiny line underneath that for its little chubby chin. It doesn't matter if it's wobbly or straight. This is just the template to begin with. Next we're going to do the eyes. So we're going to draw one circle on one side and straighten it off with a line at the bottom. And we're going to do the exact same on the other side. Once again, it does not matter if they're the same. It's really hard to be symmetrical when you're drawing. It just takes lots and lots of practice. If you make a mistake, you can always rub it out. Next, we're going to do the eyeballs. I draw my eyeballs closer to the inner part of the face. Then do a smaller circle inside that. So we've got the eyes, they're all done. Just make sure you add tiny little circles inside the most inner circle because these will be your highlights later on when you colour them in black. Next, we're going to add the edge of his hat. So just circle off the top of his head, just like this. Then add little tufts of hair either side, doesn't matter if it's symmetrical. And then some big ears either side. See, they're not symmetrical either, and that's absolutely fine. I always add little details just to make them look more like ears. If you want, you can make it your own and do whatever you like. Then we're going to do the rim of his hat. Now when I did this, I made a bit of a mistake, but that's absolutely fine. As you can see, I had another line, and that's okay, because this is just a template. Then we're going to round off from the top of the ears up to the top of our piece of paper, back round to the other ear. And we've got his hat. Then draw a big circle in the middle, just above the rim of the hat. Now we're going to do the M on his hat. Now this is a bit tricky. You can either do just a normal line M, or you can do some bubble writing. 
So with bubble writing, just do little lines at the bottom of each edge of the M and a little dot in the centre of the M. Then draw a line up. It's okay if it goes right to the top because once again, this is a template. And then join those lines to that dot that you put in. And now you've got your bubble M. So we've got nose, eyes, but there's something missing on his face, of course. His big bushy eyebrows. All you have to do is draw a slug-like shape. They can be whatever shape you want them to be. They can be thin, they can be thick, whatever you prefer. All done, perfect. So next, we're gonna use our pens and go over our line drawing just to make it more bold and stand out. I'm first going to use the smaller pen, but you can use whatever pen you like, black, any colour, whatever you prefer. This is your drawing, it's your work of art, and I cannot wait to see them. Right, that's all done. Now the fun bit is rubbing out all that pencil that we did. Just make sure before you rub out that the black ink is dry, otherwise your ink will smudge everywhere. Just to make it all neaten up and look really, really fresh. Wipe away the little remainders of the rubber and then get your thick pen. If you have one, if you've already done it with a thick pen, that's absolutely fine. What I like to do is go over it again with a thick pen, just to make it even more bold. You can add it with a colourful pen if you want, just to make it a little bit different, or you can just colour it in. It's your work of art. I like to leave the inside details with a thinner pen rather than a thicker pen, but that's just my choice. You can do however you like. So next, we're going to colour in the eyebrows with a big, thick pen. If you've got a felt tip at home, that's great. And also, the big, bushy moustache. Now for the eyes, what I like to do is just go around the middle of the eyes with the big pen. And then we're going to colour in the, big, the smaller circle within the bigger circle. But make sure you leave that tiny, tiny circle we did white because that's your highlight and makes it look a lot more like an eye. So it looks like Mario is looking straight back at you. Colour in the other one. And once again, leave the little, little circle. Perfect. And we're done. Well done, guys. I cannot wait to see your drawings.